welcome once again to our commerce classroom in this session we will discuss about interest rate swaps interest rate swaps all of you know about swaps in case of swaps two parties agrees to exchange their cash flows for a specified period of time when we discuss about interest rate swaps two parties agrees to exchange periodic interest payment cash flows here fixed interest rate and floating interest rate fixed interest rate versus floating interest rate for a specified period of time i repeat in interest rate swaps two parties agrees to exchange periodic interest payment cash flows fixed versus floating for a specified period of time usually the parties agrees this exchange of interest payment fixed versus floating for a long period of time in most of the cases that period of time may be 10 to 15 years they agreed this interest rate swap for a pre agreed notional amount the interest rate swaps reduces the borrowing costs of both the parties the interest rate swaps reduces the borrowing costs of both the parties with the support of an example i will show you how this interest rate swaps works here we have two firms firm a and firm b the objective of so, firm is to borrow from the market at a fixed interest rate and the objective of b is to borrow from the market at a floating rate if firm a borrow from the market fixed rate market they have to pay 9.75 percentage and if firm a borrow from the floating rate market firm a has to pay libor plus 0.75 percentage libor we know london interbank offered rate then in case of b if b borrow from the fixed rate market b has to pay only 9 percentage and if b borrow from the floating rate market b has to pay libor plus 0.50 percentage when examining these situations for us it is clear our firm b has absolute advantage in fixed rate market and floating rate market in fixed rate market a has to pay 9.75 percentage interest rate borrowing cost b has to pay only 9 percentage so b has 0.75 advantage in fixed interest rate market when compare the floating rate between a and b a has to pay libor plus 0.75 percentage b has to pay only libor plus 0.50 percentage so b has absolute advantage of 0.25 in floating rate market also so we can say that our firm b has absolute advantage in both fixed rate market and floating rate market when we consider the comparative advantage of these firms we can see that a has comparative advantage in the floating interest rate market and b has comparative advantage in the fixed interest rate market the reason is very clear in case of a the difference between floating interest rate between a and b that comes to only 0.25 percentage while that difference in fixed interest rate 9.75 minus 9 that comes to 0.75 percentage so we can say that a has comparative advantage in floating interest rate market then we find out the differentials here differential means difference between the differences of fixed interest rate and floating interest rate between these two firms 9.75 minus 9 that comes to 0.75 percentage that is what the difference in fixed interest rate market and then libor plus 0.75 minus libor plus 0.50 that comes to 0.25 that is what the difference in floating interest rate market then we take the difference between these two 0.75 minus 0.25 that is equal to 
0.50%. This is actually the advantage, total advantage for this firm A and B if they use interest rate swap. Then we divide this advantage 0 0.50 equally between firm A and firm B. Then each firm got the advantage of 0.25%. We know that A decided to borrow from the market at a fixed rate. Fixed interest rate for A that is equal to 9.75%. Here because of the usage of this interest rate swap. A got an advantage of 0.25%. So we deduct this 0.25 from the fixed interest rate of firm A. So A's fixed interest rate is equal to 9.75 minus 0.25 that is equal to 9.50. Then in case of B, we know B's objective is to borrow from the market at a floating interest rate. If B borrow from the market at a floating interest rate, B has to pay borrowing cost LIBOR plus 0 0.50 because of the usage of this interest rate swap B also get an advantage of 0.25 percentage so B's floating interest rate is equal to LIBOR plus 0 0.50 minus 0.25 that is equal to LIBOR plus 0.25 percentage then I show you how we can make it practical for making it practical, ask A who prefer to borrow in fixed rate to borrow at floating rate LIBOR plus 0.75 percentage. And secondly, ask B who prefer to borrow in floating rate to borrow at a fixed rate 9 percentage. See this diagram. In this diagram, firm A borrowed from lending bank at a floating interest rate LIBOR plus 0.75 and firm B borrowed from lending bank at a 9 percentage fixed interest rate. Here firm A paid 9.50 percentage fixed interest rate to firm B but firm B paid only 9 percentage fixed interest rate to the lending bank. In this transaction firm B got an advantage 9.50 minus 9 that is equal to 0 0.50 percentage. Here firm B paid LIBOR plus 0 0.75 percentage as floating interest rate to firm A. So the actual borrowing cost of firm B is equal to LIBOR plus 0 0.75 minus that advantage B got 0 0.50 that is equal to LIBOR plus 0.25 percentage. Actual borrowing cost of FAM B is equal to LIBOR plus 0.25. Actual borrowing cost of FAM A is equal to the fixed rate paid by A to B that is 9.50 percentage. This is the way interest rate swap works. I think the topic interest rate swap explained here is clear for all of you. We will meet again. Till then, goodbye.